We're often asked about the plating characteristics of our magnets and how they might perform in certain environments. In this video, we'll test out three common neodymium magnet platings and how they fare in a saltwater corrosion test. We'll be testing nickel, gold, and epoxy. We have two magnets for each plating, one being the control and the other having some scratches on it. This time lapse was about six weeks in the making. Watch and see how each plating performs over time. The scratch gold plated magnet is the first to show signs of rust within about a week. Surprisingly, the standard nickel plated magnet lasts quite a long time before showing rust. Our standard nickel plating is actually a triple plating that's made up of nickel, copper, then nickel again. The additional gold and epoxy layers are applied onto that triple plating. After a while, the rust builds and builds over the six week period. Now, let's take a closer look at each magnet. Is it salt water? Yeah. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it feels green. Oh, we put a lot of salt in there. Yeah, I don't see anything on it. Underneath. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see the scratches on there, and then there's a yeah. uh, some little spot on the edge. Just came on the uh, edge. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does look like the scratches themselves have some rust in them, maybe, or mm. it didn't make the plating peel or anything. I scratch with my fingernail. That's yeah. a. That's like a. Is that the salt just depositing on there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good, except for. <laughs> oh. Except for where it rusted. <laughs> it's funny. It's on the bottom of. Yeah. Of most of them that it's rusting. Yeah. Got through in one spot and you can see this plating is like bubbling a little bit there. Yeah. And then maybe all the rust that we see just laying around is from there because you know, up here it looks pretty good. Whoops. Well, it doesn't look as uh, big when you pull it out. That's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Four scratches and one went. Yeah, one went and the others not so much. Some rust down there too, I guess. Oh yeah, look at that. Is it just sitting there or is it? Oh no, that's rusting. Yeah, so you got that top spot and that a bit at the corner there. Yeah, a lot of that's just loose laying around on there. Yeah, that's all right. Coming right off. Well, actually, the top of it isn't that rusty. Look at that. Wow, that's not nickel plated, though. Look at it, the nickel it wrote off. What is that? Hmm. Yeah, here you can see nickel peeling up. Like, oh! Whoa. Oh, yeah. Plating totally separated from the magnet. The plating's magnetic, so it sticks to that sucker. Right. Look at all this clumps. Rust just sitting on there. Whoa. See your rust coming through or what? I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's definitely a funny color, right? Yeah, it's like a green. Is that the copper? Yeah, so is, is this the last layer? It's definitely, you know, there's four scratches. And one of them is the where all the rust comes from. Here are some other magnets that have been on an outside door for some time now. The stainless steel mounting magnets have been outside for nearly seven years and they look great. These plastic coated magnets were bright in color but the sun faded them over time. They also seem to have some kind of rust on the surface, 
We'll take a closer look at that later. This ring has a rubber coating which has totally cracked under the intense rays of the sun. There isn't much corrosion though, and it still sticks nicely. The newest magnet out here has our thermoplastic coating, which is a rubbery type coating. It looks great. Finally, here is an epoxy coated ring. It has some corrosion on it, but is performing better than we expected. We tout our plastic coated magnets as being waterproof. So let's take a closer look at the rust that we see. Oh, yeah. oh the magnet's in great shape. Oh yeah. Wow, so it's just, yeah, just rust from the door. I bet you it is. So if that wasn't in the sun, it'd probably just stay the, you know, normal color. Yeah, I think waterproof is fine. It's the sun like the yeah. plastic that yeah. does it in. Interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna cut the rest of that just for uh oh, the magnet looks great. It's totally fine. Yeah. This plastic is super brittle though. I'll pull it out. Black plastic. Magnets in great shape. That yeah, totally is. If you need a waterproof solution, we right. definitely recommend the plastic coating. Thanks again for watching. Check out our blog article for some more details on this experiment. The link is in the description.